so we built this project as a joke. Maybe it took us around three to four days to actually finish finish building it using the technology that we already had. Uh, and so we built it. And then I remember waking up on a Friday morning and um, just getting a bunch of emails from a bunch of people around the world uh, and then realizing that we're on the front pages of The Verge, the front pages of the Inc. magazine in Russia. One of the things that you have been become known for and there have been a lot of press coverage is this um, famous app where you would recognize investors in Silicon Valley. So how did the idea come about? What was special with it? Sure. Um, so I can share a little bit about my experience building it. So me and a friend of mine were working at different startups in Silicon Valley. We're working at the Twitter building in San Francisco. And so I was working on a company that was doing augmented reality for Google Glasses. And so that was one of the most interesting companies that I worked for. Um, and so I worked there for some time and I, I had a lot of experience in how to do object recognition, uh, doing a lot of work with, with cameras. Um, but before that, maybe about two years ago, I had this idea of having um, a system for physical retail stores that would allow business owners to see, you know, who comes into a store, uh, you know, how many people per day, so on, and have all of the analytics about their stores and basically use that data to improve, you know, anything they need to improve. Um, and I had this idea for about a year. And then after moving to Silicon Valley and working for doing work, doing a lot of work with camera and artificial intelligence, uh, I decided to start this company with a friend of mine that I met in Silicon Valley. Um, and so we started this company. We worked in it for about four months, set a basic MVP, reached out to a bunch of companies. And a lot of them said they're somewhat interested, but not really interested. So they were only using it really to count how many people. And we thought this is, you know, uh, doing, doing face recognition for stores just to count how many people was not such a good use of the technology. And also during that time, a, lot, a, a bunch of laws came out against using face recognition. Uh, and so we decided to put that project to an end. Uh, but before that, we, you know, me, me and Tosh were talking about, you know, we already built a, a large part of the technology and we're thinking how to use it. And um, one of the funniest ways we thought to use this technology is to put it on a phone and allow people to recognize investors in Silicon Valley. Uh, so we built this project as a joke. Maybe it took us around three to four days to actually finish finish building it using the technology that we already had. Uh, and so we built it. And then I remember waking up on a Friday morning and um, just getting a bunch of emails from people, from a bunch of people around the world, uh, and then realizing that we're on the front pages of The Verge, the front pages of the Inc. magazine in Russia. And I think over a hundred different news outlets covered uh, what we built. Um, we even had an investor from New York reach out to us, ready to give us money, uh, but we said no, just because we were not seriously thinking about using this technology or weren't thinking about building a business. No, let me, let me check here. Uh, so you were recognizing investors, which, you know, in my view, it sounds a little bit like uh, um, stalking people a little bit, okay? Um, uh, why the investor from New York wanted to give you money? Like <laughs> to stalk his, uh, wow. to stalk his, uh, his colleagues or yeah. his uh, competitive move? I don't know. I mean, people invest, I assume that a lot of investors invest into people more than the technology. And just because of the fact that I previously worked at Google, I previously worked at some of, you know, some really interesting startups in Silicon Valley. And, you know, they saw us in the front pages of the most popular technology magazine in the world. And I guess that somehow had to do with it. Uh, and so he just called us the next morning. He's like, hey, I really love what you guys did there. You know, what are you planning to do in the future? Um, and we said no, because we're not thinking about it, about actually building a company uh, with this app. Um, but uh, yeah. All right. So that's kind of a mystery. Um, just one little thing about this app. Was there anything, uh, let's say from a technological perspective, was there anything, uh, if you like, that was innovative in the algorithms or in the, the way that uh -huh. it worked, like the speed and so on? Or... You know, because today there's so many up for face recognition, so it's really difficult to understand who is doing, doing what. So what was the yeah. secret sauce, if you like? Yeah, I'd say there's not really secret sauce anymore. 
So we, what we did is we combined a number of different technologies, some, some libraries from Google like TensorFlow for recognizing people. So when you point a camera, it recognizes where people are in the picture. And so when you take a picture, it sends it to, um, to a server and then the server processes. And so we use some already existing, some portion of existing APIs. And we basically sent the pictures to the cloud and then the cloud did all the recognizing. Um, there's that, there, it's very difficult to, um, to create something absolutely revolutionary in, in the industry where, um, you know, where companies like Google, IBM, uh, AWS are working it continuously and already have a large number of projects. So it's, uh, it's pretty, it, it's pretty difficult to build something absolutely innovative at this point.